Welcome back to TechBress, guys. I'm going to be showing you in this tutorial how we can add music into a custom video of Canva. So there's a couple of things you needed to understand before you do this, because if you make this the manual and the most common way, usually this just won't work. So there's two ways that we are actually doing this. But if you wanted to do this directly from a design, you have already been added. For example, let's say that I'm going to go into my recent designs and I choose, for example, this one of the Fiverr. So here into Fiverr, let's say that I wanted to have this video of 20 seconds, I don't know, and I wanted to add some music. Usually, you want to go into the left part that says Elements, and here into Elements, I can always look out for some music. So if I click here, I can browse a few categories. So here into Categories, I scroll a little bit down and I find the music. So this is why I always choose, let's say for example, Audio, and here I do have graphics, photos, videos, frames, charts, and I believe that is it. So what I need to do before I add music is to customize this and design as if I am uh, editing an actual video. So let's go back here into Canva. Let's go into create a design. And when you get started with an actual design, you wanted to tell Canva that you are going to get started with an actual video. Starting with an actual video is going to be showing you something a little bit just tiny different from the dashboard of Canva. Check it out here that we now do have the duration of what you're actually doing here, which is duration. And in here we don't have this, and in here we just only have like the design of what we're actually creating, crafting. That's why it's really important to get started with an actual video. If you focused here into the Fabicon, check it out that we have this uh, logo. Uh, of a design here and in the left hall we have this video uh, fabicon so that means that we are now inside into this new section where we can actually add music so if i go back here into the product and that i have just get started and i wanted to convert this from a video i can always hit into resize and i can change this resize section or i can copy all of this information in this case this image and I go back into the next design and I paste it in here. So what is left to be done is just to make like a resize of my product. And now I can start by adding some music. The process, it is exactly the same. Go into elements and into elements, I can get started with search elements. And if you can see here into the browse categories, now we have available the audio section. I'm going to hit into audio and check this out. We have a lot of elements that we can use with copyright free. So you can choose whatever element you want it to and click there and you can add this. This one should be, should be added automatically into your new section. So I can go a little bit back. Just make sure that here the selector is where you wanted to add your music. So I automatically just drag and drop and I can do two things. I can move one song from one place into another one, or I can just double click. And from the same position, I wanted to tell Canva to start the music into somewhere specific. Once you have successfully finished that, double click again, and you're actually good to go. This is how we can do and add music, of course. You can add your own music if you go into upload and upload your own music, but you want to make sure that you have the copyright or you have the actual license to add this music into your videos. So, with that being said, guys, we have not reached the very end of the video. But don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more great tools of how we can get started by adding elements of Canva, videos, audio, music, effects, and much more. Thank you so much for watching the video once again. Hopefully, we can see you next time.